We're here at the Cube at SAP Sapphire in Orlando, Florida to wrap up. Dave, a great event. Uh, awesome. SiliconAngle.com, the Cube. I'm John Furrier, founder of SiliconAngle. Dave Vellante, founder of Wikibon Project, open source, uh, crowdsourcing, analyst work, basically free content for both of us. Um, but we learned a lot here at theCUBE. theCUBE has been uh, a great project, we're excited about it, it's been a lot of fun. Um, SAP, in my mind, a boring company um, old, of old, now exciting. And the show was uh, dynamic, transformative, um, all business, but people really, really enjoyed themselves here. And you know, we dropped the cube in, the Blogger Lounge, and it worked again. It was great, they welcomed us in. You know, last week we were talking about how storage is sexy, right? And, and what I walk away uh, Sapphire with is, is SAP is business, right? It's all about business, it's all about doing deals. I mean, integration with hardware vendors was a big theme here. Yeah. Um, and also modernization of applications. I mean, these guys are essentially the, the root system of business, enabling yeah. businesses to, to do transactions, to get stuff done. Journey of the private cloud started with EMC and the Cube. Here, SAP is business. But what I liked is SAP is new. It's new again, it's like reborn to SAP. Messaging was very tight across uh, the show. We heard that from some of the, the top analysts out there. Right. And they're announcing some really cool stuff in the product side. So they're really vectoring in on that in convergence point that we've been covering at SiliconANGLE that you've been researching on Wikibon, which is you know mobility, cloud, data, and it's a new equation. It's this equation of uh, innovation and and total transformation. And it's scale. It's not like hey, I'm a startup. I got five users or a million users. I mean, they're running a big business. So. It's been great, and Carlos Santana tonight. Yeah, concert. Carlos will be great. I've been I've been tweeting, "Let the children play." So <laughs> we'll be all playing tonight. So yeah, and, and to your point, you know, we saw Schnabe and and McDermott. I mean, this is a global event, right? They're running simultaneous from Europe and the United States. Um, really, right on point on message. We saw Platner showing an application on his iPad, running transactions, monitoring the heartbeat of the business. So yeah, yeah a real you know, sort of new uh, 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 SAP, um, really participating in this new ecosystem that we've been talking about. I'm really impressed with the CEOs. I mean, they have this co-CEO um, arrangement, Jim and Bill, you know, co-CEO. And, and they never work out, but they're 101 days in the job today. Um, and they're tight. You know, Bill's a sales guy. He's buttoned down on the business. <laughs> he, he's a great people person. Jim, very articulate, knows the product cold. And these guys just put on a great show, again, to pull it off with this kind of precision this kind of show at this kind of scale, I think was, a, was, a, was a, a, a game statement moment for them. I mean, they put it out there, they rocked and rolled, they let us come in, they were collaborative. It was all around very impressive. Yeah, and I think that now from a practitioner standpoint, the big challenge is how do you get from point A to point B, you know, which is where we want to go, that whole private cloud or hybrid cloud or whatever you want to call it. And I think the, the answer we got was it's all about integration. There's value at integration, in integration. That's a big part of the VCE coalition that we heard from EMC and Cisco and VMware today. Um, and The partnership message yep, yep. was loud and clear. Yep. I mean, and Oracle, monolithic, vertically integrated, proprietary own stack. Good products here and there. SAP Open, Collaborative Coalitions, VBlock, In Memory, Sybase Acquisition, Mobility. So you got two different approaches. And it's going to be very interesting to see how that market, the market reacts to that. Yeah, and you know, again, enabled by virtualization, that's a, that's a key piece of it. So you're seeing not only virtualization at the product level, you're now seeing virtual partnerships emerging. So. The other thing I was very impressed with is that the access to the executives, obviously being you know, a new media blogger that we are, and you're you know, in, the, in the crowdsourcing research, they, SAP gave us access to all their executives. I'm actually going to pop up and meet with the, the top executive who hands up, heads up the ecosystem. I met with the top guy who handles the app side. Um, I mean, full access, this is not just like, you know, hey, hear the pitch, full, they answer all direct questions. It's been very, very cool, very engaging. Uh, SAP, their players, again, they do big business, but they're changing. So I'm psyched for them and I'm psyched for us because, you know, we're on this journey, the journey of the Cube and SiliconANGLE, Wikibon, and, and the whole blogosphere out there. We're looking for information. We're looking to find the nuggets of value uh, to share and to consume. What's been great for me in this whole cube journey is that you know normally you go to these events and you meet 
with executives, right? You have these one-on-one -on -one meetings, right? So we had a, a one-on, you know, thousands, right? We were able to share those interactions with our community, with our audience, with the folks on Justin TV and Silicon Angle, Wikibon, and other yeah. places. Yeah. You know, it's, it's I mean, why not? Why not open it up? Use social media to let everybody in on, you know, these discussions. I mean, I was getting tweets when we were talking to Tom Peck. CIO, hey, you know, what does he think about the silos? You know, how, and then we asked him the question about you know breaking down the silos. So, you know, real time interaction with the community, you know, live. It's the Q, the Q was a real time show. I mean, we had CIO of Levi Strauss. I mean, big, a big honking customer. I mean, everybody wants him. All these vendors out there with the booths would love to big sit down with this like guy that. for twenty oh. minutes, right? Right, right? And shoot the breeze about you know silos and you know reengineering their culture and uh, IT. Um, very cool. Meeting down with bloggers, you know, sitting down with some of the bloggers in the trenches, the mentors there at SAP, to uh, hearing from EMC and Pat Gelsinger, who's uh, a regular on our program now. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, thirty-two minutes with Pat Gelsinger, great content. I mean, he would have been cut on the cutting room floor if he was in any studio. Beautiful. Gold. Yeah, the, the, the cultural uh, aspects, he was talking about Intel versus EMC, completely different cultures, right? One focused on process, Moore's Law, the other focused on maniacal focus on customers. That was Where do we go from here? Where do you see SAP, you know, this whole show, EMC world, Sapphire with SAP, What's going to happen next? I mean, what's your uh, crystal ball tell you? Well, I think SAP has put the stake in the ground now and said, okay, here's how we're going to go forward, right? It's going to be open partnerships. The Sybase acquisition was, I think, really smart. We talked about this, right? Yeah. A lot of people was like, oh, well, they paid too much. I mean, it's not about paying too much. I mean, you know, SAP's got the dough. I think we were right on that one again, yeah, weren't I, we? It was, it, was, <laughs> you know, it was both both defensive from the standpoint of they don't want to be too reliant upon Oracle, but it's, yeah. but it's, uh, it's on the offense because mobile, Right, changing the whole nature of the application in memory database. I, 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 you asked me where, where, where this goes. I think we're going to completely see a re-architecting of the data center, of the application ecosystem, of the way applications are, are architected. You know, it's for speed, for performance, for agility, time to value, a whole new era. And we've, we've asked this question a number of times, what makes the private cloud cloud, well, it's that whole business model, that speed, that pay as you go, that type of consumption model that I think is coming. Yeah, and I think what's also cool on, is that, you know, we're at a time now where there are a major inflection point of technology, uh, one of those, you know, 15 year magical moments where things completely shift, wealth is created, wealth is destroyed, people are going to lose money, who's going to hold on to their market share, the big vendors, the whales are kind of collaborating together and forming factions and teams, and, and to me, I think, you know, Seeing, seeing what it's going to mean for end users and value, right? So at the end of the day, they're all going after the consumers who have iPhones and iPads, so the consumerization of everything, IT, social media, it's a, a journey. And it's great to see big vendors like SAP have to compete on value, because that means they got to do their job and deliver. Cisco, they got to wake up and deliver value. Juniper, got to deliver value. SAP has to deliver value. That only benefits the market. And yeah. so they're not going to sit back and rest on their hands. They got to go out and compete. Yeah, and I talked to a lot of CIOs, <coughs> as you know, and, and I would say this, that many are still, eh, yeah, cloud, that whole thing, you know, sort of skeptical or cynical. You know, that's okay to be cynical and skeptical. That's maybe one way to manage risk. We talk about Tom Peck managing risk. But the fact is that there's a sea change. It's being driven by the consumerization of IT, you know, and ultimately, uh, organizations need to embrace this, which I think you know the leading yeah. edge folks are, and ultimately everybody. IT will become that new environment that we've been and, talking and, about. And you know, we talked about you know the new stuff that they're announcing, but you know the other thing that came out of this conference for me that I could share is some some key trends. The notion of proof points. I got you've got to show people the proof points, which is ROI and all those other things. And social media. You're seeing you know we're doing the cube, which is a blast, and we're having a, having a lot of fun. But even SAP took it to another whole another level. Spent millions of dollars on video production. So you know proof points with real business value outcomes, not just technology. Social media, all centered around people. It's a people centric web we live in now. Yeah, very embracing, right? The embracing of the cube, the, the blogger lounge here, you know, tons of, you can see right now, tons of people just, you know, blogging away, getting their perspectives out. It's just, a, it's an amazing time in which we, we live. We've had a blast here at theCUBE. We've been CubeCasting, SiliconAngle.com's CUBE has had a blast. We learned a lot, we met a lot of people. Um, we were shooting the breeze, having fun. Um, we're going to wrap it up in Orlando. We're going to take theCUBE back on its journey. We're going to pack theCUBE up. We're going to take it on the road. 
and we're gonna have a mobile cube or a cube on the road. We have an East Coast cube, a West Coast cube. <laughs> we're gonna just keep on innovating as much as we can um, and have a lot of fun doing it. So thanks to everybody out there. Michael, Sean Wright, Mark Risen Hopkins. Great job, Devante, great job. That's a wrap from, the, from Orlando. Good night.